Hi everybody. We've been getting a lot of common questions on our email and social media pages on a few specific items. So we wanted to do a video on those to go over those for you. So the first one is the Nerf bars and how do you take those off? So the Nerf bars on these cars, we're going to use our 1RC house car here as the example. The Nerf bars are a press fit. So the front Nerf bar presses into the cage. The side nerf bar presses into the cage here, here, and here, and then the rear bumper uh, presses into the cage here. So to take these off, the front bumper, front nerf bar, uh, you can just kind of put your thumb behind it and put your finger out in the front and just kind of push forward with your thumb, kind of use this bar across the bottom here as uh, kind of a, a push point. And then just kind of push forward. If you wanted to just move it over to one side, like get one side going first, you can just easily push that. And eventually it'll pop loose. These things are in the cages pretty tight so that they don't come out. So you'll have to put a, quite a bit of force on those to get those out. And then to put it back in, just get all four of them lined up. And you might have to move the bars around a little bit if you tweaked it, you know, getting it out. Um, but just line all those up and then uh, you can push it right back in, in place like that. For the side nerf bars, um, what we recommend doing, what we found is the best because these two get stuck into the cage a little bit. Just grab the car by the nerf bars and just give it a, give them a little bit of a twist. So just twist them back and forth, just kind of like this. Just rotate them. And what that'll do is the, the, the sticking area or the, the part of the nerf bar that gets stuck in the cage, it'll kind of pop that loose and make that easier to get out. When you go to pull these out, what we recommend doing is put your thumb here and then put your finger here and then just kind of push against your thumb here and it'll just slowly start to pull that out. And that's the easiest way to, to push that out. That way you don't, uh, you know, you don't bend anything or, or, you know, bend these nerf bars or break the cage or anything when you're pulling them out. And uh, when, you're, when you go to put them back in, uh, just get like the front one lined up. And you can push in, push in a little bit to kind of get it started and then go to the back. But don't push it all the way in because otherwise it's hard to line the back up. Then just push the back one in a little bit. Now when you go to push these in, you'll notice that the bar, the tube and the chassis doesn't go all the way across. And we did that just to kind of free up the area and just to get rid of a little plastic. So when you do push these in, just put some support behind those tubes right there and then just push on the outside here. The front one you can't get all the way down to the to the tube area but you can push on the chassis right here so just push that in the back one you can get down a little bit farther you can tip it like this and get your finger down in there and then just push that one in but just give it a little bit of support because if you do push too hard uh you do have a chance of cracking the chassis right there if uh if you if you really push harder if you don't have it lined up correctly that's why we say just get it started and you'll feel it start to go in and, uh, and then just push it in. So just take your time doing that. And like I said, these things are really tight, so they're gonna stick even after you take them in and out a couple times. They're gonna stick after they sit a while. So again, just give it a little bit of a twist like that, and it'll pop those loose. Uh, the back bumper, same thing as the front. You can just kind of uh, you know get your finger under there and just push that out. If that one's a little bit tight, same thing. You can just kind of grab onto the back of the chassis and just kind of give it a little bit of a twist. Uh, and all that's for is just to kind of break that that um, that bond loose. And once you break that loose, these things just come right, you know, in and out pretty easy. Um, another question uh, we get is the body itself. So the body does not come off uh, easily. You know, it doesn't have body uh, clips or anything like that because you really don't need to get underneath there unless you you know maybe you know change out the chassis or do something. So you can take this screw out here, and this hood portion comes off. Uh, when you take that off, the receiver and speed control unit are right underneath there. Uh, those are the two main things you need to get to. If you do want to take the body off, just take the hood off there. Take the front bumper off, the side nerf bars off. You can leave the back one on. There's two screws up here. There's two here and then two in the back. And then the body will come off. Uh, again, you got to take the side nerf bars off in the front to get that off. Uh, you can take that off pretty easy. It goes back on. When you put it on, uh, the easiest, you know, it does get, uh, hook, you know, caught around these screws at the top of the cage a little bit. Just kind of wiggle it around. It'll come off and go right back on. The other uh, question is a lot of people think that this is a sprint car chassis just uh, with a different body. Uh, it is a totally different chassis. 
the chassis, all the rails, a lot of the components inside, the cross rails and cross members and stuff are all different. The headers are different. The battery box is really the only part that's the same on all the cars. Uh, this is something we tried to keep common, obviously, because the batteries, you know, are fairly close to the same size between the four cell and the five cell. Um, so the, but the chassis is all completely new. Nerf bars are new, bodies new. The front suspension, uh, the shocks, front axle, radius rods, all that, the rear suspension. This has got a sprint car rear end in it, or the sprint car and the EDM are the same, so it's got the white gears, and it uses the sprint car motor, uh, so make sure you, you watch that. Uh, the springs on the back, or shocks and springs, radius rods, everything in the back is the same. Um, there again, we just wanted to try to keep as many of the parts the you know common between the cars as we could, so you guys don't have to buy a ton of different parts. And you know some of the parts you already have from a midget and or sprint car will work on this car as well. So that answers some of the uh, more common questions we're getting. Uh, if you have any other additional questions, uh, feel free to hit us up on our social media pages or send us an email to the support email on our website. Uh, we'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if we have more common questions come up, we'll try to do another video. Uh, make sure you keep watching our social media pages and website for more new products to come. I uh, hope you enjoy the car, and thanks for watching.